is Rosemary Ramit, and I am a representative of the Ghana Council of Organizations for Persons with Disabilities, GCOPD. More specifically, I am the coordinator of the Women with Disabilities Network, which is an arm of GCOPD. And um, not yet an organization on its own, but when I get back home, that's something that I plan on working on. So GCOPD was formed back in 2009 because in Guyana, we have about 24 disabled people's organizations that represent the needs of persons with disabilities on a regional level. However, there was a need to have a body to represent disability on the national level and so GCOPD was formed to address that need. So GCOPD is basically an umbrella organization that has all of the disabled people's organization as its members and so that's how we roll out training and the work that we do through the various regional DPOs. I am fairly new to the women's rights space and that's because I was focused more on the rights of persons with disabilities so we focus on men, women, children. However, when the pandemic hit in 2020, what we found was that there was the cries of women with disabilities um, who were suffering from gender-based violence, who were suffering from you know, economic problems and they were not getting access to services and they were not able to access shelters and things like that. I sat down with the program coordinator and I said, you know, we really need to focus on women with disabilities because I realized that our needs are quite unique and many times you find that it's not adequately addressed in mainstream societies. And so I got up all the women with disabilities across Guyana, those who I could reach, and so we formed the Women with Disabilities Network. Since then, I lead the network to focus more on gender-based violence, because again, during the pandemic, that is something that came up a lot. Last year, for the 16 Days of Activism, we had a training workshop which was funded by the um, Office of the Resident Coordinator. We um, basically trained about 40 women with disabilities in the Sexual Offenses Act, the Domestic Violence Act. We trained them in services that were available and, you know, the kind of legal jargon around um, sexual violence and gender-based violence because many times you find that the language is not accessible for women with disabilities, especially those who are deaf and those with intellectual disabilities. So we really wanted to target um, those women. What we have upcoming for our future work is to target service providers who directly provide services um, of GBV, you know, that area. We want to work with them to teach them how to adapt their services to accommodate women with disabilities and also we want to work on creating an accessible space a physically accessible space for women with physical disabilities women who use wheelchairs and so on because as it is now they're unable to physically access those spaces that we have available in guyana